The Calm is a feature fictional film by Krzysztof Kieślowski made in 1976. Some critics see it as the first mature effort of Kieślowski and really the film that all of his subjects come to the fore and they come together quite beautifully. It's a film that didn't have much luck since it was immediately shelved after it was made and it didn't premiere until September 1980 after the Solidarity Movement really changed the political landscape in Poland. But immediately after making, the movie didn't have its premiere. It's a shame because it's a quite beautiful film and definitely a film that introduces the full scale of acting talent by Jerzy Sztur, who will play the main character in Camera Buff in 1979 also by Kieślowski. Here we have a character called Antoni Gralak, a name that Kieślowski liked uh, and used many times in his films. Antoni Gralak is coming back from prison. He is a former prisoner who tries to rebuild his life and who tries to enter the main current of life and simply become a calm citizen. The alternative title of the movie sometimes is translated as peace and quiet and there is a scene in the film in which Antek states his life philosophy. And the philosophy is very simple. I simply want to live a calm, peaceful and quiet life. And when you think about it, this is the main ambition of most of the characters of Kieślowski. Most of the characters in Kieślowski's films don't have big political ambitions, they don't have big social ambitions, they simply want to be happy in their everyday life. Of course, the world at large not always allows that, and this is the main source of tragedy in Kieślowski's films. However, here Antek Gralak really wants to live a calm life, but it's not so easy if you are an ex-convict. The socialist state, even though supposedly it's there to help him re-enter the life, unfortunately that's not the case. He meets with violence, he meets with derision, he meets with lack of trust, and it's really very difficult for Antek to make himself at home in his own country after he lives prison. It's a very quiet film and it's a beautiful film in that uh, it focuses on the main character's plight, but also, interestingly enough, it's a film that for the first time in Kieślowski's career presents a blatantly symbolic element in the film. Some of the later films by Kieślowski will be criticized for too much symbolism. Here we have a single but powerful symbol of horses running outside of the train window that Antek looks at and that clearly he sees as free, as those completely free creatures that don't need to ask anyone for a permission to lead a calm life. It's a scene that also reappears on a television screen uh, in the film and you can definitely tell that here Kieślowski is entering the realm of playing around with symbols that will mark many of his later movies, especially the Decalogue and the Tricolor trilogy at the end of his career.